On May 24th, this picture exploded onto the Chinese internet. What you are seeing is the wall of an ancient Egyptian temple in Luxor. But wait, that doesn't look like ancient Egyptian writing to me. It's actually several Chinese characters etched onto the wall. Wow, this must be new archaeological evidence that the ancient Chinese traveled to Egypt. No, actually, it's graffiti. And it reads, Ding Jin Hao was here. It's written in simplified Chinese characters, indicating it was written by a tourist from mainland China. The picture was posted on Sina Weibo, China's version of Twitter, by this guy from Beijing. He describes seeing the Chinese graffiti as the saddest moment on his vacation to Egypt. Chinese netizens were so outraged by the photo that someone even did an internet search on this Ding Jin Hao character and found him to be a 15-year-old middle school student from Nanjing. The boy's parents have since apologized. Statistics show that mainland China has now surpassed Germany and the United States to become the largest nation of world travelers, both in terms of total trips abroad and money spent overseas. But some mainland Chinese may not be as culturally aware as world travelers ought to be. Chinese newspaper Da Jiuan quoted one Chinese tour guide named Mr. Zhang saying, Writing was here is a bad habit of certain Chinese tourists. They may not have realized that doing this can seriously damage cultural relics. He goes on to talk about other bad habits that Chinese tourists apparently have, like making lots of noise, running red lights, spitting, defecating in public places. What? Yeah. That really does happen. Citizens of Hong Kong have been complaining about it for years, but I'm sure foreign governments feel those tourist dollars are worth it, right? And with all the attention that this is getting on the internet, perhaps it is giving the mainland Chinese a bit of a wake-up call. The fact that the Chinese web user who posted this described it as the saddest moment of his trip to Egypt shows there are many Chinese who really do care about how their behavior is perceived overseas. Even this senior Chinese official said this month, uncivilized Chinese tourists are giving the country a bad name. But what do you think? Is the practice of writing so-and-so was here uncivilized? Have you ever witnessed a tourist from any country behaving badly? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you're interested in learning Chinese, don't forget to check out my channel, Learn Chinese Now. Thanks for watching.